and to have to let him get what he wants, you know, what he asks for and what he needs right now, which is his family. Even though if you know it's temporary and it's, it's, it's not forever, it's a temporary situation. And after all he's had to go through, how, how could you deny him that? And because of what? Because uh, what some strangers might think or say. Brian Dorsey is speaking out about those rumors circulating about his family and opening up about how he and his son Josie have been doing since the death of his ex-wife, Naya Rivera. I have to tell him, oh, she's an angel now and she's with God and she's in heaven. And he says, well, oh, I want to go there. How do I get there? I wouldn't wish that upon any of your ears to have to hear that. Hear those words come out of the sweetest soul you know. The 37-year-old was visibly emotional as he shared that his life is not always black and white on Instagram Tuesday, following recent headlines about Naya's younger sister, Nikayla, who moved in with him and five-year-old Josie. He asked me if TT can live with us. I want TT to live with us forever because she's now the closest thing that he has to a mom because you're gonna need all the help you can get as a single parent trying to build your career and navigate this uh, disaster with your child and um, you deal with it every hour of every day for 80 plus days now. A source previously told ET that Ryan and Nikayla decided to move into a house together to raise Josie as a team. To have a young woman who is his blood, his TT, who's willing to put her life on hold and sacrifice things, uproot her situation for the betterment of your child. Um, so when you put your child to bed, you don't always have to be alone with your thoughts and you don't have to be sad every day and night wondering when does it get better. At least you have someone there with you to talk to or just sit in silence and be sad with. Rumors have been circulating that the two are romantically involved, but our source says that's simply not true. Quote, anyone who knows them knows it's completely absurd to imply that they are anything more than just family. I wasn't even going to speak on any of this, but um, I feel like my head is full of so many things right now that uh, the last thing I want running through my head is uh, this bull****. ET's source adds that the recent scrutiny they're facing really blindsided them, and they barely have the mental capacity to deal with it. I probably lost a little over 20 pounds. Um, I don't get good sleep. I'm sad every day. The source also says that Nikayla has been getting death threats in her DMs. And people, not just paparazzi, have been stalking them and taking their pics. I also hope if you ever have to deal with anything tragic that you'll have peace and never having um, people following you and take pictures and, and creating a false narrative based on uh, an angle of a photo um, two people grieving who have been living their life out of suitcases and, uh, you know, just trying to get settled into a new place. ET source explains, quote, they're beyond exhausted. These rumors and the resulting hatred they've received is pushing them over the edge. But it's 2020 and uh, this is life. It's 2020, man, we're here. Yeah. On Monday, the 25-year-old model seemingly responded to the rumors on her Instagram story, writing, In the darkest time of my life, the only thing that is important is my friends and family, showing up for my nephew even though I can't show up for myself. I'm not concerned with the way things look because no one can see each agonizing moment we all endure.